what's up guys this is Mr. Mills and I want to teach you today about parallel episodes. Now I looked all over YouTube for a good video to teach this and I could not find one at all so I decided to just make my own. So here we go. I know parallel is a math term. You guys all know about parallel lines and all that kind of stuff. Well it's also a literary term and it's a very different term so that's the one I want to talk about today. And parallel episodes is part of a plot in which the same event reoccurs within the story multiple times. All right, this is lots of examples of this, um, and I'll give you a few. The first one that comes to mind is the three little, the story of the three little pigs. Okay, everybody knows that story, and in that story, the big bad wolf comes and knocks on each pig's house, and he says the exact same thing. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And each time, something slightly different happens until we get to the very last pig. And of course, um, he has built his bricks, his house out of bricks, and he's worked very hard on it. And the whole idea of that is to show a lesson. That when the same thing happens to different types of people, the person who works the hardest is the one that's going to come out on top. Okay? Parallel episodes are used to teach a lesson, and, but most often to show the character's growth over the course of the story. The main characters always grow from kind of somebody who's really weak and nothing into somebody who's strong and powerful by the very end of the story and parallel episodes can show their growth. Another example of this is Goldilocks and the Three Bears, also a very well-known story in which Goldilocks, she's a criminal by the way, breaking and entering. To those Somebody touch my spaghetti! Find the two! Mine's gone! And my chair is broken too! Someone is in this house! Poor Bear's house. Um, but she goes in there and she um, she says, uh, uh, let me try this one and it's this one's too hot and this one's too cold and then this one's just right. Or this bed is too firm and this one's too hard and this one's just right. And she does the same thing multiple times and it's a sort of prove a point. And, um, but my favorite example is, of course, Star Wars. Yes, we have lots of parallel episodes within Star Wars and um, the most famous is Luke Skywalker's encounters with his arch nemesis and father, Darth Vader. So in the first encounter, um, we have Luke in the trench trying to destroy the Death Star and Darth Vader comes up behind him and Luke and, Luke and Vader, they don't really know each other yet, but this is still their first confrontation and Darth Vader gets him on missile lock and is about to just blow him out of the sky when who should show up but Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon saving Luke from certain death. been bested by Darth Vader in that moment because he's not quite a Jedi yet still kind of a whiny kid just starting to turn into something cool the next time in the Empire Strikes Back he meets with Darth Vader face to face and uh, after a long lightsaber awesome epic duel you are beaten. it is useless to resist don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did <laughs> up getting beaten pretty badly. Uh, gets his hand cut off, finds out Darth Vader's his father. No, I am your father. Basically has a nervous breakdown. Falls down a shaft. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. Almost dies again, rescued by Lando in the Millennium Falcon. And then finally, in the third of these episodes, uh, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker face off again in Return of the Jedi. 
And there's a massive lightsaber duel again, but this time Luke is a lot stronger. training and is, is a Jedi and Yoda has affirmed this and uh, and because he is so much stronger he actually beats Darth Vader this time in a lightsaber duel and um, but then again Darth Vader turns to the good side throws the Emperor down the shaft and it's all the redemption thing happens everything But the point is that Luke Skywalker has grown from this whiny little kid into a full-fledged Jedi, and it takes these parallel episodes to show us his growth. So you can look for parallel episodes in um, any story that you have, any TV show, book, movie, whatever it is. They're very common and a great way to prove a point or to show the character's growth. So now get out there and look for those parallel episodes.